everybody, this is the Fat Philosopher here from Hiroshima, Japan, and I'm bringing you with a review of uh, one of my new guitars. Uh, this guitar here is called the Sawtooth ES Series by Sawtooth Guitar, and it's their budget line of uh, Strat style guitars. Now, I got this one here. I had this guitar shipped to me from America, which is a little unusual because uh, Sawtooth generally does not ship outside of the USA. But, and uh, generally shipping from America to Japan is uh, a bit expensive, but uh, a pawn shop in, I think, Nashville, Tennessee was willing to ship this to me for 45 bucks and sold it to me for 110 bucks. So that's one of the re reasons I actually bought it there. And, you know, so in total it cost me $155 for this guitar. Why did I buy it? Well, first of all, I've been thinking of buying a Strat here coming up in the fall. I want to kind of get some, test one out a little bit. And uh, local ones, just you know, the left-handed didn't really appeal to me. When I saw this one in Daphne blue color, actually called this guitar Daphne after the color here, it's quite striking, and the price is right, so I pulled the trigger. What can I say about this guitar? Well, first of all, um, it's a, a Sycamore body, which is the first time I ever had a Sycamore body guitar, and it's really, really light. It says six pounds in the home page, but I think it's even lighter than that. It comes with a 15 uh, inch fretboard, so it's quite flat compared to your regular budget strat. You know, most strats are like nine and a half, this is 15. So if you're kind of more into the shredding, it's a little bit easier to do that on. Uh, just regular no nondescript tuners. Uh, it comes with a medium jumble fret, so it's not like the Fender tall fret. So if, once again, if you're kind of into the shred, it might be, you might enjoy it a little bit more. Maple fretboard. Uh, one piece maple net with a scarf joint, no string trees. It's got a tilt on the neck stock there. And three single coil pickups. So, like I said, uh, I picked this up because the price is right. You know, shipped to Japan for $155 American is, I can't do better even here. Japan, you know, Squires, you, the, the cheapest left hand Squires I can get here. Or over 200 bucks. Um, there's some, you know, no-name hundred buck guitars, but they're not set up or anything like that. And with the setup, you know, it cost me about the same as it cost to ship this one. And you just can't get this color in the left-handed otherwise. So up to now, though, I haven't really had much luck with budget guitars. You know, I had the Glary, came, ended up having bad frets and a bad bridge. I had uh, that used uh, Warlock. Also had some trouble with that, so why, you know, I had two thousand dollar guitars that are two two guitars over a thousand dollars, and but I still kind of wanted to try see once again at the well if I can get a nice budget guitar. So what's the good points about this guitar? First of all, you gotta love that color, right? You know, it's nice if you like bright colors, something that stands out. It's really good. It's got a perloid, I guess, a uh, pick plate. I like the branding, you know, Sawtooth kind of got a kind of ballsy, you know, a lot of budget guitars brands are kind of like kind of wimpy names like Galeri or Donner or, you know, Selder here in Japan, you know, it just doesn't really start them with Sawtooth, you know, sounds kind of things. I kind of like the headstock there too, love that kind of a truss rod plate there, the S on it, kind of stylish there, and it's generally fairly easy guitar to play it. and of course I love the weight we need my bad back. Bad points about this guitar, well you know it didn't come up set up, the G string was in tune when it came but other than that I had to adjust the truss rod you know right off the bat because it's bowing and uh, you know you'd rather not do that on a new guitar but if you have to you have to. What else can we say, these pickups, I'm gonna play here in a little bit but they need to go, they're not a uh, the cleans are not bad, but if you want to put anything with a little gain on it, it gets really kind of ice picky and kind of shrill, you know. And me, you know, I'm trying to learn Metallica songs right now, so you know, I can't play Metallica on this. It's got a big old, you know, right angled joint, so it's a very bad fret axis. Not only that, the back plate's got like a plastic cover, and then the metal on top, so it makes it even thicker, you know. The plastic parts in the back plates, this one's pretty good though. I don't like these knobs, these knobs seem to be very cheap and left-handed guitars don't put numbers on them because the, the knobs are all backwards anyways like 
This, this tells me it's, no sound. It says it's seven. Wide open says it's nine. You know these numbers they mean nothing. They turn the wrong way. If you don't put left-handed knobs on it, just make them. You know, no, get rid of the numbers on these already. And for the actual sound, like I said, it, clean is not too bad. Let's see if we can try a few. See if we can get a few little tunes for you here. Okay, so let's try the pickups here. It'll pick up. Try some gain. Okay, and also two things with quality control. First of all, it did was shipped with kind of a one place on the back, the top horn. Looks like the paint didn't take. Got a little small dot there. It's not um, a chip brand like that. Looks like the tape is just the, over the paint. When it shipped, it might have been the pawn shop, but it was quite dirty. Like it looks like it's been played for a bit. There's all this gunk on it, but it cleaned up okay. So it's kind of nice there. Another quality control thing. Um, I think the frets were done really nice. There's no fret sprout. Another good quality control thing is that there's little like metal, uh, I think somebody put some steel wool on the frets or something, didn't cover the pickups. There's tiny little metal filings around the, the pickups there, which is really hard to get off because, you know, they're metallic. They don't really want to come off there. But like I said, I'm probably going to replace the pickups anyways on this. Okay, going about the neck here, okay? This neck, um, it's uh, called Slim U. It's a maple fretboard, which is actually, this is my first ever maple fretboard. So I was kind of like, where's the fretboard for a second? <laughs> what came up? Nondescript black dots on it. The frets are done really nice. They're all smooth on the edge. The fingerboard's a little rolled, actually. There's actually no tool marks on it at all. And they're medium jumbo. So where they put money in, they put it into the neck here. So that's uh, really nice when you actually want to play. Um, we had problems with the nuts. The nuts, it feels okay, but the E string was a little bit too cut, a little too deep. It means I couldn't put the action as low as I really wanted it. But uh, it's still fairly okay. Of course, nuts, you know, it's like 10 bucks to repair. You know, not a big deal on that. The tuners are your usual nondescript tuners. They don't work that well. They get you in tune, but, you know, I hate how they put these little plastic white spots on it that always come out anyways like who, who needs that little sticker on that you know like but anyways so anyways, am i happy with my purchase actually i am quite a bit for 100, 150 bucks or so 155 bucks it's a great thing it's a good introduction to strat what i plan to do is i'm going to play for three or four months here i might be looking into actually get a, a proper friend or strat coming up i got a kind of a deal going on if that goes through might Send this off. If that deal doesn't go through, I might, you know, go and uh, put some new pickups in here, new bridge, new tuners, and try to pimp this out a little bit. See how it goes. Another pro problem I had with the setup here is that this bridge comes with a whammy bar, but it wouldn't move at all. And so we had to release the springs in the back, get a little bit more uh, pliable. It's a screw-in thing. It takes forever to screw in here. You know, it's not it's not push not a push pull. It's uh, Hundred bucks. What do you expect? It's kind of funny that the pick guard and the pickups are all white, but they gave me a cream-colored uh, uh, whammy bar. But I guess <laughs> maybe every guitar gets the same one. I guess no matter what you get. 
Space, would I recommend this store? Yeah, I would. It's got on. It seems to be, you know, fairly well made. You know, for what for the money, right? It's not going to be your favorite guitar at all time. It's not as good as like my Sahana or my new Ibanez here either. But uh, I think I'm going to have some fun with this. And you know, you gotta love the color. You know, it'd be really cute color. <laughs> I'm sure it'd be popular with the women. Anyways, if you have any questions about this, you want to know more, hit me up in the comments there and I'll be glad to oblige. You all have a good day wherever you're at and stay out of trouble. Salute.